this morning we'll receive the testimony of scripture together. You are the many in bold. It's Mark 12, 28 through 35. One of the religion scholars came up. Hearing the lively exchanges of question and answer and seeing how sharp Jesus was in his answers, the scholar put in a question. Which is most important of all the commandments? Jesus said, the first one in importance is listen, Israel. The Lord your God is one. So love the Lord God with all your passion and prayer and intelligence and energy. And here is the second. Love others as well as you love yourself. There is no other commandment that ranks with these. The religion scholar said, a wonderful answer teacher, so lucid and accurate that God is one and there is no other. And loving God with all passion and intelligence and energy and loving others as well as you love yourself, that's better than all offerings and sacrifices put together. When Jesus realized how insightful the scholar was, Jesus said, you're almost right there, right on the border of God's realm. After that, no one else dared ask a question. The Gospel reading is Matthew 18, 15 through 20. If your sibling sins against you, go to them. Tell them what they did was wrong. Keep it between the two of you. If they listen to you, you have won them back. But what if they will not listen to you? And take one or two others with you. Scripture says every matter must be proved by the words of two or three witnesses. But what if they also refuse to listen to the witnesses? Then tell it to the church. And what if they refuse to listen even to the church? Then don't treat them as siblings. Treat them as you would treat an ungodly person or a tax collector. What I'm about to tell you is true. What you lock on earth will be locked in heaven. What you unlock on earth will be unlocked in heaven. Again, here's what I tell you. Suppose two of you on earth agree about anything you ask for. My Creator in heaven will do it for you. Where two or three people gather in my name, I am there with them. Second reading is Gospel Luke 15, 1 through 10. Now, all the tax collectors and sinners were coming near to listen to Jesus. And the Pharisees and the scribes were grumbling and saying, This one welcomes sinners and eats with them. So Jesus told them this parable. Which one of you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one that is lost until she finds it? When she has found it, she lays it on her shoulders and rejoices. And when she comes home, she calls together her friends and her neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep that was lost. Just so I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who need no repentance. Or what one having ten silver coins, if she loses one of them, does not light a lamp, sweep the house, and search carefully until she finds it. When she has found it, she calls together her friends and her neighbors, saying, Rejoice with me! For I have found the coin that I had lost. Just so I tell you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Amen. 